Hi guys, Richard Butler here, Director of Education at PLR.me. In this video, I'm going to focus on our articles and blog posts because you see many people see the name articles and blog posts and they think that's all they can do with them. Stick it up as a blog post or publish it as an article, but there is so much more that you can do. And what we want to do in this series of videos is show you how you can repurpose that content. So use it in a number of different ways in order to um, get your message and to get your brand across different channels. When you download and unzip one of our resources, you see that it comes in various different document formats. And I'm going to open up the text file here because this gives me the raw text without any formatting. I'm gonna copy it. And I'm going to use one of our tools here, which is called the Content Summarizer. So I just go in here and I'm going to paste the text and it comes in like that. And what I'm going to say here is that I want a maximum of 10 lines extracted from this text. So using the technology of this tool, the system will scan the text and take out 10 relevant lines that you can use. So this is obviously done by a computer program. So you just want to check the sentences when they're extracted. But I just go in here, I have the um, settings, I can just leave the default, I've just changed the number of lines. And I go to summarize. And what that does is that picks out 10 sentences that I can now use. So what I could actually do is I could just say, take this one here, you can determine your own happiness by following these simple strategies. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. And what I would do is I would tweet that and then I would provide a link to the full article on my website. So I'm driving people to my website because I want them to get interested in this. So another strategy that you could use is to copy this text again into Facebook, LinkedIn or Twitter and then ask a question and start getting people engaged with the actual quote. So you could ask people, what are your strategies for finding happiness in your life? Um, do you think you should take baby steps towards dreams or goals? Or do you feel that you should try and uh, complete an enormous chunk of your goal in one go? And by asking a question, what do you think? Le uh, let me know your comments, leave your comments below. This will get people to engage with your post and that can tell the Facebook or LinkedIn algorithms that your post is worthy. And then what will happen is that your post will be seen by more people. And this is just one element obviously of the algorithms, but Facebook and LinkedIn will reward you, so to speak, if you're getting more engagement with your posts. So that's the first thing that you can do. You take your article, you put it on your website, then you come into the content summarizer, you summarize the content, and then you use that as tweets. Now, what else could you do with this article? Well, you could actually create a podcast. Now, before you think, oh my God, I don't have the equipment to create a podcast, all you need is this, okay? Any type of smartphone will have a recording app on it. So in order to record, you could actually just plug in the actual headphones that usually come with a microphone as well and record that way. So it's very, very simple to do that. Now, if you say, well, I don't want to use my phone, can I use my computer? Well, yes, you can as well. You could record it on your computer. And then what you're gonna do is set up an account with a company called Anchor.fm, which specialize in podcast hosting. And they will also distribute your podcast out to Apple iTunes, uh, Spotify, and other music providers. This is very, very easy to use, and it's actually completely free. And there is no upgraded version. There is no silver or platinum version to buy. It is absolutely free. So what I would do is I would set up my account and then I would start to upload my podcast. So you can see mine is available on 10 platforms. And if I'm completely honest with you, I haven't actually updated it in quite some time. So I really need to um, upload some more podcasts. But I've had 2,209 plays. Uh, my estimated audience size is 10, so that's not so good. But again, the reason for this is because you need to be consistent. So. Uh, you need to make sure that you're updating all the time. So this is something that I'm going to be working on over the next few weeks to put up more podcasts. You will see then the performances here um, over, the, over the last couple of months. And you'll see that I had, I had quite a lot of plays when I was actually putting up more podcasts. My top episodes are shown here, the geographic location. So there's a lot of information here. And in order to upload a new episode, I click on new episode and I can record this right in the browser. So this is very, very good 
because there's no excuse. If you don't have a smartphone with an app that's going to record or your smartphone um, is a couple of years old, you can always use it here. So I would just click on record. It asks me to allow the use of my microphone. I would. I would start recording. I would choose the default that I want to use, the microphone. And it's best probably to use the headphones and the microphone from there. Be careful to ensure that you're not moving around too much because if you are, the problem is the microphone might uh, rub against your clothes or it could rub against your face or in my case it could rub against my beard and then you hear a, a crackly 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 sound which is actually the technical term for this crackly crackly sound so there's a, a little bit of terminology for you if i just went in and i started to record and i said hello 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 so it says you can record for up to 30 minutes so i would stop recording it then uploads that up to um, anchor.fm. And then what I can do is I can put in some information about this particular podcast. And you'll see all the previous podcasts that I actually have. I can also then download the audios if I want. So one of the great things about anchor.fm is that I can also um, decide to record 10 episodes. And then what I can do is I can drip feed those out over a number of weeks. Okay, so you can hear the you can hear the episode there, and then what I can just do is I can just bring this over here, okay, and I click on save episode, and then I would put in an episode title and an episode description, and here is where I can say um, don't publish this until Sunday the nineteenth. So if you have a Saturday or Sunday morning free, you might record maybe five podcasts and then you could have them um, drip feeding out or publishing at different dates over the next five weeks. And this is really good because then you can set and forget. In other words, you can set um, five or 10 or 15 podcasts to publish automatically. So one of the things that I would recommend then with podcasts is that you do have a call to action. You know, For the podcast notes, please visit my website www.plr.me or whatever your website is. So have a call to action because a lot of the times people won't do anything unless you tell them. So if you don't tell them to visit your website, they're not going to visit your website. Um, always have an introduction to your podcast. So something like, hi there, this is Richard Butler from richardbutlerthesuccesscoach.com. And in today's podcast, I'm going to be talking about, and then you end it as well, uh, with something like, you've been listening to Richard Butler. For more information, contact me on... Da, 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 da. So the idea here is that you have something at the beginning and the end of each podcast which brands you and your name in the person's mind. Now remember, people can then subscribe on Apple iTunes, they can subscribe on Spotify, and they will actually be notified every time you upload a new podcast. So this, again, is a great way of staying top of mind with your actual um, audience. So that's just um, a couple of ideas that you can do with an article. Publish the article as is, um, modify the article if you wish, use the content summarizer to create tweets and then link back to the article and then record the article as a podcast. Now, of course, the other thing that you could do is you could record yourself on video like I'm doing now reading the actual article or summarizing the article. And here's a little tip for you. So you could upload the video to YouTube and then you could extract the audio and you could actually then have a podcast from every video that you create. So again, this is the idea of repurposing and reusing and recycling your content so that you can get the maximum benefit from it. So I'm going to be making more videos, so make sure that you come back and check out these videos. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure that you like our channel. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. I'll talk to you in the next video.